will be key as he knows Nebraska is going to load up to stop the run. It starts with Rodney Smith in the backfield. The redshirt freshman bounces to the outside and then pushed back by Josh Kalou. Two backs now. High snap. Wagner keeps it. Gets to the 30. Stick with Smith in the pistol. Trips to the left. Widener rolls that way. Here comes pressure. Dumps it off. Low and complete. K.J. May goes down to make the catch. That was a good job by Widener rolling out to his left, which is always a tougher thing for a right-handed quarterback, but he gets a better view of the field. Doesn't quite set his feet up, but he finds the wide receiver, his best target, K.J. May. These wide receivers, I think, really got to get going here today. K.J. May, they need to get together here today. Trips to the right. They stay with Smith in the backfield. Nebraska bringing pressure up the middle. They get through to Leitner, and they, but he gets it off for completion into Nebraska territory. Drew down to the Nebraska 33. Play fake. Complete to May, and then he's brought down at the 30 by Jonathan Rose. Back May and Myrick back to receive. This could be returnable. And then he, has some length to it, but May brings it out. Myra brings it out anyway. Spins, still on his feet. Gets out to the 23. A huge game a week ago against Purdue, but they swing it out to May. Gets by the first tackler, stiff arm for another couple of yards. Myerson Cockrell shoves him out of bounds. Now third and two for Leidner. Smith in the backfield. Another rollout, forced to throw early, right at the sticks. This looks like he's going to be short. May makes it. It was a good job by Kalou breaking and tackling the receiver before he could get some yards after the catch. Kalou, remember, was beat for the touchdown. And a lot of people are not a, really a fan of his play. But look, the guys won a lot of games around here. Off the play fit, looking deep. May overthrows. Looks like he had enough time. As you see in the drop back here, nice play action pass. We talked about that's going to be key, but just a little bit too far for still to get to. Now third and seven. Leidner rolls to the right. Here comes pressure. Throws off his back foot. And complete. KJ May goes down to make the grab. That's the front. So what you're seeing is they're getting Leidner outside the pocket. Malik Collins still is able to get a shot on Leidner. But a pretty that was a nice pass. Now the fullback, Mike Thomas. They run the reverse to May. And he gets outside for the first down. Jonathan Rose finally brought him down, but a nice stutter step. The defense looking the wrong way here. You see they're thinking the handoff's going to go to the running back, Smith, and they go in with the jet sweep around the other side to K.J. May. Big words, leverage. <laughs> Mark Banker, the defensive coordinator for Nebraska, trying to fix this pass defense. Now in the eye is Thomas and Smith. Wider. To the fullback Thomas inside the 10. Brought down by Kalou. May bottom your screen to the right. Now in motion. Back to the reverse. He's got a blocker. Another stutter step move, and this time it results in a touchdown. The exact same play they ran earlier works again. As you said, they ran this play earlier, but this time they get the benefit of having the fullback out in front with a nice block, just give them a little bit more room for May. 76 yards in eight plays, two of them by number one, K.J. May, finds the end zone. Minnesota down by three. For Leidner and the Gophers. Here's Myrick from the four. Sets up his blocks. Gets out to the 30, so good field position for the Gophers. Held him out on that one. Now May from the nine. Across the 20. Brought down hard at the 25. Third and 10. With time, has a man open. And that stops that streak as K.J. May makes the sliding catch. Here, you got to start putting some plays together and get, get some points on the board. Stack the receivers to the right. On the rollout. 
And he makes the grab and goes out of bounds. To your point about the huddle, you're yeah. losing precious seconds every time. High formation, May in motion. Smith in the backfield. They try the sneak. No signal yet. Slot. He's usually the guy down here. May in motion. Looking for May, and they get the two. So it is indeed a two. Down by two after the two point conversion. Down by two possessions. Shoelace away from breaking that one. Pumps, here comes pressure. Hit as he throws. Carter makes the grab. Formation. Now they load up to the left. May all by himself to the right. Now Lingen moves over. Into the end zone for Lingen. He overshoots him. Play of the drive coming up. Bunch set to the right. May to the left. That's where Leidner's looking. Knocked away at the last second by Rose. Rose just hanging with the play. Looked like that May was going to come down with the catch, but you see the right arm of Jonathan Rose at the last second just making sure that ball doesn't get pulled down for a touchdown. It's a tough play because his back was turned. This will be May. Gets out to the 20. Early in the year versus TCU, they were able to get a late drive to move down the field pretty quickly. They got to move fast now, though. That's out of bounds and incomplete. Who is the deep threat for Minnesota at this point? Two and a half to play. Here comes pressure. Carter make the grab. No screen to the right. Now he goes in motion. Nebraska backs off the pressure. And that will be intercepted by Kalu. He could go. The 20, the 10, touchdown Nebraska. Pick six.